Hi, welcome back to Physics Form for KSSM. So today we continue chapter 5 on topic 5.2, Damping and Resonance. Let's get started. Damping and Resonance for an Oscillating and Vibrating System. Last time we have discussed about oscillating and vibrating system. There is the system that moves to and fro along the same path or repeat the same path of motion. An oscillating system that is displaced and then left to oscillate without the action of external forces will oscillate at its natural frequency. What is the meaning of natural frequency? Meaning if you displace a pendulum uh, for simple pendulum and left it to oscillate without external force, meaning its frequency is called natural frequency. What happens to the amplitude of oscillating system? For example, we displace the bob uh, to, the, uh, to, to oscillate uh, and then finally uh, it will come to stop. What happened actually to the simple pendulum? So this activity 5.8, you can refer to your textbook, aim to observe uh, the phenomenon of damping on an oscillating system. So from here, we have this activity here. Uh, so uh, we have a, a thread uh, to hang uh, a plastic bag filled with granulated sugar and then we have a black pepper that we can we will pull uh, the black pepper at constant velocity. So what we do for this activity we can observe uh, the simulation uh, for this uh, experiment. So this is the video uh, that we have in the YouTube. So pull the pepper so you can see the granulated uh, sugar that drop uh, on the pepper will form a pattern showing that the amplitude of the motion that produce decreases. Okay. So from here, we can see that an oscillating system, when you displace it to oscillate, after some time, it's finally stopped. And you can see here from the activity before, the amplitude of the motion decreases. So the same thing happened eh, to the oscillation of the simple pendulum. Amplitude of oscillation decreases. Decreases. So amplitude A decreases with time. So you can see here, the frequency remains the same. No change in frequency. So amplitude, you can see clearly here, A1 is larger than A2, is larger than A3, larger than A4. So for this graph displacement time graph, this one shows damping phenomenon. So meaning the, oscillate, the oscillation uh, uh, experiences damping. Okay, what is damping? So for the damping process, it will cause amplitude to decrease with time. So an oscillation with its amplitude decreases with time shows that system experiences a gradual loss of energy. So the amplitude actually related to energy. Eh? The higher the energy, the higher the amplitude. Same as the water wave eh, or the sea wave, you can see. Eh? The higher wave means it's a very strong wave or higher energy. Okay, So this one, you can see from here, this is a loaded spring and simple pendulum. It will oscillate, but after some times, eh, you can see the amplitude becomes smaller and smaller, or we can say amplitude decreasing, decreasing with time. So this one is caused by loss of energy. Finally, the oscillation stops. So this phenomenon, we call it damping. So oscillating system experiences loss of energy is due to, meaning the factors that cause uh, energy to be lost, that cause the oscillation uh, to decrease in amplitude. We have external damping, that is oscillating system loses energy to overcome friction of air resistance. So surrounding uh, uh, the the oscillating system, there will be air, so resistance will cause some of the energy uh, lost to overcome air resistance. So this one we call it external. Uh. External means the outside part. Uh. Internal damping, 
oscillating system loses energy because of stretching and compression of vibrating particles in the system, meaning the molecules inside the loaded spring and the load itself also experience loss of energy. So meaning there will be a stretching and compression of vibrating particle. So this one we call it internal damping. So there must be work done eh, for the process of stretching and compression of the vibrating particle. So energy is lost. So damping is caused by two types of loss of energy. There is external damping and internal damping. So as in the case of uh, loaded spring and simple pendulum, this one we always uh, can observe this eh, in the school lab. Okay, later you can do this activity. So what actually happens during damping? As we know that the amplitude decreases with time eh, due to loss of energy, but the frequency remains constant. Eh? No change in frequency, only the amplitude that decreases. So how to overcome effect of damping? For example, oscillation eh, in the baby's cradle. This one, eh, baby's cradle. So we want to maintain the, the oscillation so that uh, for the baby eh, to stay in eh, comfortably. So we need to make sure eh, the oscillation is constant. So how to overcome effect of damping? So we can apply periodic external force on the oscillating system. That is the use of electric motor. So you can see here uh, nowadays uh, most of the shop now they are selling the, um, the cradle uh, with an electric motor. Okay? So the periodic external force transfers energy into the oscillating system to replace the energy loss. So meaning continuously uh, energy is supplied. So the loss of energy can be overcome. Thus the amplitude remains constant. So you can see in the case of baby's cradle, so it will continue to oscillate until you off the switch. So the system is said to be in force oscillation. Because the force that supply is coming from the electric motor, that one we call it force frequency yeah, source. So now the system is said to be in force oscillation. So you must be able to differentiate between uh, natural frequency and force frequency. If no external force, the system oscillates with natural frequency. But if there is periodic external force, it will cause the object uh, or the system to oscillate at force frequency. Okay. So what is periodic force? Periodic force is a force which acts at specific time interval. Periodic force does not act continuously. Okay. So what is resonance? An oscillating system that is displaced and left to oscillate without action of external force will oscillate at natural frequency. So we have discussed before. So the system is said to be in a force oscillation when periodic force is applied. If the periodic force is applied to an oscillating system at its natural frequency, the oscillating system is said to be at resonance. Meaning, if the force frequency is applied, suddenly equals to the natural frequency of the system, then the system will experience resonance. So what is resonance? So resonance system oscillate with its natural frequency, thus it will cause eh, the system to oscillate with maximum amplitude. Or we can say if the force frequency equals to natural frequency, the system will oscillate with maximum amplitude or experience resonance. Okay. So what are the factors that affect natural frequency? As we know that natural frequency is not, there's no external force act on it. So what are the factors that affect natural frequency? So we can discuss about simple pendulum and loaded spring. So natural frequency for the simple pendulum depends on its length. So this formula. So for the pendulum, you can see T equals 2 pi square root of L divided by G. L is length of pendulum. G is gravitational acceleration. So meaning uh, the longer 
the length of the pendulum, the higher the period of oscillation, thus the lower the frequency. Okay, so because f equals to 1 over t. So one of the uh, uh, factors that affect uh, frequency or natural frequency of pendulum is length of pendulum. Okay. For the loaded spring here, it depends on mass of load and force constant of the spring. Okay, so this is the natural frequency for the loaded spring. K is the force constant or the stiffness constant for the spring. And M is mass of load. So these are the factors that affect the natural frequency of the system. Okay, now let's look at activity 5.9. So we have tuning fork kit. We have P and Q, identical tuning fork, meaning same natural frequency. So they have same natural frequency. So what we do, the vibration of tuning fork, fork P yeah, have forced tuning fork Q to vibrate in resonance with P. So what is that? First, we knock the tuning fork P only. And then we put Q close to the P. And then what happened? The Q also vibrate. So why? Because energy is transferred for, from tuning fork P to tuning fork Q. So tuning fork Q vibrate with maximum amplitude and produces sound that can be detected. So there is a detector sound put here so they can uh, detect sound that produced by tuning fork Q. Or we can say tuning fork Q experiences resonance. Okay, so they have same natural frequency. So when tuning fork Q receive energy from P, eh, meaning the force frequency is equal to natural frequency eh, for tuning fork Q, thus Q experiences resonance. Okay, okay second activity. Second activity. So we have buttons pendulum. So you can see uh, there's a pendulum X. Same length eh, as pendulum C. Okay, so brass bob X and pepper cup C are at the same horizontal level so that pendulum X and C are of the same length. Okay, oscillation of brass pendulum X transfers energy to A, B, C, and D, causing all pendulums to oscillate. So we just displace X eh, to oscillate, so energy will be transferred through the molecules. Eh, of the string towards to uh, another uh, pendulums so it will cause all pendulums to oscillate so what we can observe from here that resonance happens to pendulum C because pendulum C has same natural frequency as pendulum X same length as we know for pendulum the factor that effect is length of pendulum same length meaning same natural frequency so C receive energy at force frequency equals to its natural frequency. Thus, it will oscillate at largest amplitude or we can say C experience resonance. Okay, so this activity okay, shows the, phenom uh, the resonance uh, phenomenon. Okay, effect of resonance in daily life, actually it happens uh, around us. So for example, this picture, you can see the singer Okay, when sing uh, able to break uh, the glass, okay, this glass, okay, or you can see from here the bridge suddenly collapse uh, due to the wind that blows, or this one by rubbing uh, the mouth of the glass, the sound is produced. Okay, so another one is tuning of musical instrument, can, uh, how to tune it to produce louder sound. So this one also resonance concept, tuning a radio. Changes the value of capacitance in LCR circuits so that resonant frequency matches the frequency of station you want to listen to. For example, you want to listen to radio tree that's set at 100 megahertz frequency. So you need to tune your radio to that frequency so that you can hear loudest and clear sound. So that one also is resonance concept. Another one is Bluetooth Wi-Fi. Okay. So you can search more examples of resonance in the internet. That's all for this topic. So don't forget to subscribe, like and tap for more oncoming videos. Do support physics teacher. That's all.